it's Alicia and welcome to the first of my Bass Gorilla tutorial series. We're going to jump right into making a drop and we've already got a kick and a snare in the project file with a ghost sidechain set up. I've already got a percussion loop made out of folly samples bounced down. And everything is being sidechained or volume gated with guitar rig. The sub is being volume gated with a simple gain utility. Now I'm just going to start out by making a simple kick pattern. I'm going to duplicate that out. So when I duplicate the kick, I also have to duplicate the ghost kick um, for side chaining and then the gaining on the sub, which is what those little green regions are. Uh, I find that it's more accurate to use this volume gating on the sub to get it precisely around the kick, whereas everything else is fine being side chained to the ghost kick. So now we're going to make the sub. Taking a simple compressed sine square wave. And we're going to use that here in Serum. So now I'm going to just quickly lay out a basic sub pattern. And we're just going to play around with it a bit until we get the right kind of syncopation. Make a bit of a sub melody. Now we're going to make a synth sound, starting again in Serum with a saw wave. I'm going to use LFO1 to create the global amp envelope. Right away we're going to throw on a bunch of effects to give the sound some depth. And I'm going to quickly go back and route LFO1 to that global amp. I think LFOs are better than envelopes for this. You can create more custom and detailed shapes with them. Now I'm going to crank the hyper effect. Let's bring the rate up a little bit. Detune. Engine expander, turn the size down to zero so there's no delay. Now I'm going to turn off the distortion a bit and just fiddle with the chorus. Um, turning up the gain on the compressor a little bit as well. A 
Now let's quickly draw in a little arp to work with so we can continue to build the sound around it now that we've got a basic start. Cool. So we're going to duplicate this onto a second track and make a little bit of a weirder sound so that we can layer them together. Going to add another oscillator. And we're going to use this as a source to frequency modulate the first. Let's turn down the pitch by two octaves. And I'll look for a different wavetable maybe. Play around with the position a bit. Start tweaking the LFO rate. Now I'm uh, putting a small reverb on the sound and just fill it out, smooth it out a bit. Now fiddling around with some different things to tweak the sound. Messing with the octaves a little bit to see how it affects things. Hmm, try a different wavetable. I think I might actually swap the frequency modulation sources between the two oscillators, just see what it sounds like. I think I'm gonna add a comb filter, maybe. Give it a little bit of grittiness. And we're going to put a little stereo expander on the sound as well. Now we've got a more interesting texture. Okay, so I just moved the MIDI to the group channel just so it will play both layers and just streamlines my channels. Mess with that filter a little bit more on this one. Let's put a little tiny reverb as well on the ARP to give it some good space. So now I'm going to the sub channel. I'm duplicating it a few times and I'm going to put this plugin called Gaffle on it to split it into frequency bands so that I can edit the sound in three different bands. It's pretty cool. They move in conjunction when they're linked. So kind of does all the crossover for you. And then you can really just tune in your processing. I've got it in low, mid and high right now. So we're going to tweak things a little bit, move the bands around just till we have it exactly how we want.
can move things around a little bit. Smooth it out. Let's work on the lead a little bit. We're going to just get a basic melody set up here so we can work around it. Full disclosure, I'm not that great at drawing in MIDI. I'm more of a player, but I wanted this to be for everyone. Now this is lit. Let's leave it. Just kidding. Obviously not. I've uh, loaded up this noise oscillator, and I'm going to put a bell noise into it. Now we're going to again route LFO1 to the amp and make a more sort of plucky shape. Now I'm actually setting the noise oscillator to modulate oscillator A here with uh, FM. So I'm going to change this to a sine. Getting a nice little kind of synth bell sound happening.
Now we're gonna turn on the hyper effect and turn up the detune, turn down the mix, as well as mess around with the rate a little bit. Let's turn on oscillator B and then use oscillator A to frequency modulate that. So we're making kind of an FM chain here. Mess around with that wavetable position a bit. Hmm, let's try messing around with sub oscillator maybe. Turn up the octave. It's kind of just messing around at this point, just seeing what sounds good, you know? That's really all anything is. Uh, we just put a short little LFO on uh, oscillator B as well, just to tighten it up. This a little more. So now we're going to send this to a bus. And we're putting a reverb on the bus and 100% wet. We're going to turn down the decay a little bit as well, make it a bit shorter than the default. And also a low and mid response. Turn off the high cut. Then we're copying the summing track sidechain to the bus end to make it even stronger and sending it to a new bus. We're going to copy the setting from the previous bus and we're going to add some things to this one. Let's add a distortion. Up so I could hear it. We're gonna mess with the reverb length a little bit. Then go back to editing the frequency of the distortion. distortion and crank it up so we're slamming it into the distortion and then gain it back down after the distortion. Now we're going to send it to a third bus and then this bus is going to have a sound shifter on it. We're going to turn the pitch down to minus 12. So now we have a nice dimensional crunchy sound with a little distortion tail.
so we're going to now duplicate this sound and make a slightly different one out of it. We're going to mess around with the melody a little bit, kind of going for like a secondary pluck here. out a tiny bit. a tiny bit. And that's pretty much going to be our drop. <laughs> 